Hi, this is Sharon Salzberg. A woman once described herself to me as someone who had great difficulty saying no. As a consequence, at work, for example, she was often taking on too much, found herself reluctant to draw boundaries, and in effect, was doing other people's jobs for them. She was exhausted. Then she decided to bring up one of those scenarios in her mind while meditating. She imagined herself at work, being asked inappropriately to do something, and observed what happened. Her most pointed perception was the flood of anxiety that rose up in her stomach. Before the words could form in her mind, if I say no, maybe they won't like me, she had a visceral sensation of panic. Those sensations became her feedback system. When she was actually at work, being asked that kind of question, and that particular sensation arose, that was her signal to say, I'll have to get back to you on that. Once she had some space, she could then say, sorry, I can't. Sometimes in meditation, we purposely bring forth a scenario as that woman did, not to judge, but to explore. Many times we simply settle back with the breath and pay attention to what naturally arises to become predominant other than the breath. Sometimes, as below, we do a combination of both. We see that if we maintain curiosity about our experience, we can practice being with difficult emotions and thoughts, even intense ones, in an open, allowing, and accepting way. For many of us, this is the opposite of the more automatic mode of pushing away uncomfortable feelings out of fear or annoyance or doing everything we can to avoid painful experiences at whatever cost. And we see that in order to have the resiliency to face difficulties, for example, a friend who can't be helped, or a day full of sudden changes outside of our control, we also need to recognize and be more fully present in the times of positive emotion. This is a vital skill for feeling more fully alive. The tool of mental noting can be a support in this practice. Noting is a technique where, if a word associated with your experience comes easily, you silently repeat it a few times as you center most of your attention on the experience itself. This establishes a relationship of curiosity and interest as it shields us from distraction and reactivity. You can sit comfortably, close your eyes or not. During the instruction, when I become silent, that is your signal to put into practice what I've just suggested. First center your attention on the feeling of the breath, wherever it's most predominant, wherever it's easiest for you. Just the normal natural breath. And quietly note in, out, in, out, or rising, falling, to help support the awareness of the breath. If an emotion or mood arises that takes your attention away from the breath and the word comes easily, see if you can silently label it. Happiness, sadness, annoyance, 
delight or whatever it is. The practice is to make a quiet mental note of just what that experience is in the moment, without judgment, just as an act of recognition, anger, joy. You don't need to struggle to get exactly the right word. It doesn't need to be elaborate. It's just an act of acknowledging, oh, this is what's happening right now. Then we can look at that experience more clearly. Often, for example, an emotion is not just one thing. Anger may be moments of sadness, moments of fear, moments of frustration, moments of helplessness. We watch them rise and pass away. None of these states are permanent, unchanging. They're moving, changing, shifting. Now see if you can bring to mind a specific difficult or troubling thought or situation. A situation that carries for you an emotion, such as sadness, fear, shame, or anger. See where you feel it in your body. What does it feel like? Where do you feel sensations arising? Are your shoulders stiff, for example? Your face burning? Once your attention has moved to the bodily sensations, perhaps say to yourself, it's okay. Whatever it is, it's okay. I can feel this without pushing it away or getting caught up in it. If you find you're adding judgment, condemnation, future projection, anything like that, Practice noting and then letting go of those reactions as best you can and return to the sensations of the emotion. No matter what story or add-on arises, come back to your direct experience in the moment. What am I feeling right now? Now bring to mind a pleasurable experience you had, one that carries a positive emotion, such as happiness, joy, comfort, contentment, or gratitude. Maybe it was a wonderful meal, or a reviving cup of coffee, or time spent with your kids. Perhaps there's something in your life you feel especially grateful for, a friend who's always there for you, a pet excited to see you. A gorgeous sunset. If you can't think of a positive experience, be aware of giving yourself the gift of time to do this practice now. Notice what emotions come up as you bring this experience to mind. You may feel moments of excitement, moments of hope, moments of fear, moments of wanting more. See if you can note them and watch these emotions rise and pass away. All of these states are changing and shifting.
Where in your body do you feel sensations associated with the emotion arising? What are they? How do they change? Stay with the awareness of your bodily sensations and your emotions, opening up to them and accepting them. You can end the meditation by simply sitting and being with the breath. Connect to the breath gently as though you were cradling it. 